Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Today's story comes to us from Alice and Violet. Hey guys, they sent me an awesome idea for a story and you can too. Just head over to kidshortstories.com. Send me your idea and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. And make sure that right now you smash the follow button so you don't miss out on any of our stories. Are you guys ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. All right, Professor Sticky Fingers, we need a new plan. What what do you have for me? Any good ideas? Oh, boy, I have so many ideas. Well, um, uh, I'm still working on a lot of the ideas, but, uh, oh, um, we could make stuff sticky, and then the sticky stuff could do the stealing for us, and ha, I love making things sticky. That was the voice of Professor Sticky Fingers. And remember, he likes to make things sticky so that he can steal stuff. That is a wonderful idea. Well, Purple Ninjas, help the professor come up with a way to make something very sticky. I look forward to what you find out. All right, boss, we'll get right on it. Meanwhile, Alice and Violet were rollerblading on their driveway at home. Zoom! They were racing around and having so much fun. Have you ever tried getting chalk and drawing a whole course on your driveway before? Yeah, it's pretty cool if you have like a scooter or bike or rollerblades and you follow that track across your whole driveway. Well, Alice was drawing a huge like maze for Violet to follow and she had to find her way out. And just remember, Violet said Alice. You can't step on any of the lines or else you're out. So you just have to try and find the right way through the maze. Okay, Alice. This is a really hard one. Violet was trying to ride through the maze on her rollerblades that Alice had made with chalk. But this was a very hard maze that she drew on the driveway. Oh, I don't know. I I don't know if I can do this one. Violet laughed. I keep going all the wrong ways and... Wait, Violet, look over there. I I don't want to mess up. I don't want to accidentally step on one of the lines. Wait, no, seriously, said Alice. Get down. Violet dropped down to her knees. Ouch. Oh, why did you make me do that? I said, get down, said Alice. Look. Alice and Violet were laying down now on the driveway but they were looking out down the street. Are those purple ninjas? Said Violet. Yes, yes they are. Look at that, said Alice. We got to get up and get our spy gear. Hurry. Alice and Violet carefully snuck over to their house and crawled inside, taking off the rollerblades at the door. They raced upstairs to go get their spy gear out of their room. We got to get some binoculars, quick. Where are they? Alice was shuffling through all of the toys and they had forgotten where they put the binoculars. Uh, oh, here they are, said Violet. They were underneath a blanket. They grabbed the binoculars and looked out their front window. And sure enough, they could see two purple ninjas dressed up in some kind of disguise, but they knew that they were purple ninjas. What are they doing? Alice zoomed in the binoculars, and it looked like the purple ninjas were dumping a whole bunch of little jelly balls into the sewer. What? Those kind of look like Orbeez, <laughs> said Violet. Yes, they do. They're like tiny little uh, gel balls and just pouring, it looks like billions of them into the sewer. What in the world is going on? We have to call this into HQ. Alice ran over and grabbed the walkie. Shh, HQ, this is Alice and Violet. Come in, over. Shh. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's great to hear from you, said HQ. Well, it's great to hear from you as well, but we have an emergency. The Purple Ninjas are in our neighborhood. They're dumping some kind of, of jelly balls into the, into the sewer. Wow, that does sound very suspicious. Please keep an eye out for us, and if you need us to send backup, we'll do it right away. Keep us up to date. Over. Shh. Alice and Violet grabbed the rest of their spy gear 
and looked out the window and yeah, the purple ninjas, they were now gone. But we gotta go check it out, said Violet. They ran downstairs and ran over to that sewer grate that they had dumped all this stuff in. They grabbed a net and reached down to scoop up whatever they had poured in. As they scooped out, this net was completely full of... Are those gummy bears? Said Alice. They looked closer and yeah, they look like tiny gummy bears. It looks like they're moving. Whoa, and they're... Wow, they're really sticky, said Violet as she touched some of them. (laughs) Well, this might not be as bad as I thought. They're just giving away free gummy bears, (laughs) said Alice. I don't know about that, said Violet. We got to send this in to HQ as evidence. Okay. Alice and Violet ran back to their room and they had a special drone that they could load up with evidence and put it in the drone and it would fly off to HQ to the lab to get some tests done on it. Okay, I guess all we can do now is just wait and see. Alice and Violet put their rollerblades on and continued playing in the driveway. They didn't understand why the purple ninjas had come and dumped all these tiny little gummy bears in the sewer, but at least the purple ninjas are gone and it's only gummy bears. Alice, do you feel the ground shaking? Yes, I do. What is what is that? As they looked back over to the street, they could see the gummy bears starting to pour out of the sewer grate onto the street. And they were, they were alive. Oh, what in the world is going on? Said Violet. You see, something had just crazy happened. Those tiny little gummy bears that they pulled out of the sewer grate with their net, these were not tiny anymore. It's like they were growing underneath the street. And now that they're so big, they're coming out and starting to crawl around on the street. As cars were trying to drive past them, crash, crash. As the cars crashed into the gummy bears, the cars became stuck. What is, look. They're completely stuck on the gummy bears. It's like they're super sticky, said Violet. This sounds like a Professor Sticky Fingers thing. We have to report up to our room. Let's go. Alice and Violet ran back to their bedroom headquarters. They had to take pictures and call it into HQ. HQ, it's getting worse. The gummy bears have come alive and they're huge. And everything that touches them gets completely stuck. Shh. Oh, no. We're going to send a team right away. Hang tight. And whatever you do, do not touch the gummy bears. I repeat, do not touch them. You may be stuck forever. As Alice and Violet turned around, they realized that some of those tiny little gummy bears that they scooped out with the net had fallen out into their room. And now they were giant gummy bears crawling around on the floor, getting everything all sticky. They jumped on top of their beds. What are they going to do? This story will be continued on tomorrow's episode. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And you know what time it is. It's time for Kid shout outs i want to say hey to shua from australia flora basia and yourself from israel ewan and finn from michigan benny from georgia ayla and dia from california and rowan and isaac from ireland i'm so glad that you're all in the kid short stories family and on our spy team we could not stop dr stinky breath and his team without you my friends well I have so many more stories, so I will see you on our next adventure right now. Bye!